FPP 6.2 was just released a little bit ago. Are you going to upgrade? Are you going to stick with what's working? Well, I'm going to upgrade a controller right now and we're going to go over the release notes. So before we even go into GitHub and check out the release notes, I am going to get this Pi updating. This is a FPP instance that I have in my office just for kind of testing, testing updates before I actually push them out to my main controllers. So let's get this going here. We're going to go under the help option, click on about, and we're going to want to choose an OS version. And we are going to look for the 6.2 here. Here it is. If you don't have 6.2 available here, you're going to want to click on upgrade FPP, the screen button here. That will essentially do an update upgrade. And it once it goes through those motions, you should have the 6.2 FPP OS available. So once we have the 6.2 selected, we're gonna click upgrade OS. If you do a download only, it'll download the file and you can upgrade it later without having to download it then. So let's get this going and hop back into GitHub to look at the release notes, see what's new. Here I am in Google to get to Falcon Player's GitHub page, just Google search Falcon Player GitHub. Usually the first result is gonna be Falcon Christmas, which is the one that you want. And then over on the right-hand side, you're gonna see where it says releases. If you're on mobile, I think you need to scroll down a little. But for releases, you're gonna to wanna to click on the 6.2 or latest. And that is gonna bring us up to what has changed. What's new with 6.2? This was done an hour ago, it looks like. And there's a couple of new enhancements. We have a couple new commands. Command to run multiple presets one after another. Command to run presets sometime in the future. Interesting. And command to insert single random item from a given playlist. Okay, so this could be, I'm sure there's a couple of uses for the insert a single random item from a given playlist. That could be like if you have like five different PSAs and you want to randomly throw them into your nightly playlist or something like that, you could use that command. Remove about 300 megabytes of unused files from BeagleBone images to reduce size. Uh, smaller is always better when it comes to image size. Updates to FPP install.sh to install in Ubuntu 22.04. Some Armbian jammy build. So this would be if you are not using a Pi or a BeagleBone. If you're actually doing it on a Ubuntu or a, a different type of Linux distro. And start adding detection of Genius controllers. I believe this is Dave and Lee's controllers. Uh, those are going to be really cool. Hope to see them take off in the future. Bug fixes. Okay. Add XML to image. Requires OX update. I don't know what that's for. Fix bugs in BBB serial. Trying to find pin out configuration when uploaded from X lights. I've seen a lot of people have issues with this. It seemed to be if you selected the wrong controller inside of X lights, you would get this BBB serial cannot be initialized or something like that. Maybe that was actually a bug and not user error. Hopefully that helps uh, solve some people's issues with that one. Fix hosting validation issues with some characters that are not allowed in host names. Don't use special characters and names, especially when working with uh, FPP. Try Even try to stay away from dashes, but most notably, like don't use uh, decimals, don't use asterisks, don't use parentheses quotation marks stay away from special characters anything alphanumeric is usually pretty good and safe uh, special characters can definitely cause issues fix ping button with host names that have certain characters like dashes well there you go like dashes so if your host name had a dash in it uh pinging it could have been an issue fix kiosk install script okay there must have been an issue there fix persistent net names on pi 3 fix host apd config on latest rb and ubuntu uh, must have had an issue with the host access point. I believe that's what that is in the configuration on it. Fix crash with test mode if end channel is lower than start channel. Interesting. I, I guess if you updated your start channel and not your end channel, that and th that could crash it. Especially if you had test mode running and you updated your start channel while it was running, then it would probably crash. Fix hang race condition playlist with inserted playlist while status is being retrieved. This one might help some Remote Falcon users here. So Remote Falcon essentially uses a insert playlist after or insert playlist immediately. Then it indexes what song the user picked or what's next in the queue. And I know some people were having issues. I experienced it one time. I couldn't make it happen again. 
this will probably help some remote Falcon users with it not hanging up because the one time I had it crash, the web browser became completely inoperable. I had to go out to the actual master controller itself, go on my OLED display and cycle through and select reboot for it to fix it. Fix crash and auto creation of overlay models if strings are missing or non-consecutive overlay models. Those are a love-hate relationship for me. And default to sending MAC address for DHCP client. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I, I believe it should send the MAC address by default for uh, getting DHCP addresses. So this might help that if you change images or you go from one SD card to another, you might end up with a different IP address on your Pi, even though you may have set it once before in your router as a static address, or this could help make sure that it always ends up back at that static address even after you do big updates or SD card changes. Hopefully it's grabbing the MAC address of either the LAN or Wi-Fi hardware. That's plugged into it, because usually that shouldn't change much. So if you want to update, if you're starting from scratch, here's your images down here. You scroll all the way to the bottom of the reliefs, and you have your BBB image.zip and your PI image.zip. You would unzip these and use something like Belina Etcher, actually flash an SD card directly from your computer. And let's check on, okay, it looks like we are on 6.2 now. Everything looks the same, which is great. And let's check, insert random item from playlist. Insert, we could pick a playlist. I don't have a playlist on this Pi actually we can insert it immediately. And my guess is if I had a playlist, I would probably get an index option as well. Oh no, this is gonna be random, so I don't get an index option. And I could either choose to insert it immediate or probably after the current sequence is done running. Okay, so let's see what other enhancements there were. Command to run preset sometime in the future. Run FPP command, command. Okay, so here is trigger command preset in future. I'm not 100% sure how this is gonna work. Milliseconds in future. I think this is supposed to say identifier and it's a typo, but I'm not sure what I'm identifying. It could be the, the command identifier. And then I have a couple of presets here. Interesting. And we have command to run preset one after another. I wonder what that one is. Okay, trigger multiple command preset slots. Okay, so you can pick slot your preset slots here and have, looks like run up to four in a row is what you would do. I don't use a ton of presets myself, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that do. And if you do, this might open up some options for you. Doesn't look like anything too big was added that could cause breaking changes. Looks like they did a couple more bug fixes. Once again, this time in the season, I wouldn't expect them to make any big changes. I would kind of expect to see those kind of Q1 2023 if, they're, if they have any big plans or rollouts for next year. So are you going to stay on what's working now or are you going to live dangerously and upgrade to 6.2? I'll probably upgrade to 6.2, especially for my master. So if there are any bugs, I can experience them and possibly through my experience, help some of you guys. If you learned something today, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to FPP Shorts. I will have more tips, tricks, and tutorials coming really soon.